Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Woodmere Estate Revival. Today we're down here working around the back patio again. Try as we may, we couldn't get the uh, patio completely finished yesterday. We were just worn out by about 5.30. Uh, we, had, we were just tired, fatigued, we were dropping bricks and, and our hands were tired and our bodies were aching. So we we're just like, you know what, let's hang it up for the day before somebody gets hurt. And uh, we moved a tremendous amount of brick. Uh, we're guessing around 3,200, 3,300 brick yesterday. That's a lot of trips down to the brick dump. That's a lot of handling of each and every brick, eight, 10 pounds a piece. So uh, it's no wonder we were tired. Back down here today, trying to get this finished up. We've got contractors coming in starting this week. So we've got to get uh, the last of the patio out so they can begin digging out the foundation and waterproofing and doing all they need to do to get the house dried out. So let's take a look and uh, see where we're starting today. And then we'll keep you apprised of our progress throughout the day. So walking back through the pool gate here, you can see all the missing brick here. Boys are down in the pool catching some frogs. That's a, that's a daily thing nowadays. Frogs, snakes, salamanders, you name it. Amber supervising, got a little fire going, getting into some of our old timbers and brush. Got a huge pile of trash bricks here. We got to load these up and put those in the uh, dumpster. More trash bricks here, parts and pieces, more pieces, more broken bricks. And this is the last of the patio. So we're gonna start here and peel this back all the way back here to the driveway. And then we're done. So we're gonna get the tractor fired up, start loading up all that junk and uh, hopefully get this project wrapped up ASAP. So we're looking forward to getting this done and uh, get this part of the project wrapped up. We're also really excited about getting some contractors in here to start making some progress on the drainage issues and start making those structural pairs in the house so that we can take over and just fly uh, with the renovations on the inside of the house. So it's really gonna start changing fast. We'll keep you apprised of all the uh, progress down here as usual. But let's go ahead and get started and see what we can get done on this pair. We got the tractor in place and Amber is picking up some parts and pieces there. I know oh. you're excited about picking up more brick. I'm hurting. Yesterday was pretty brutal. It was. My hands. I know. We're all... I can't, I can't even grab. <laughs> we're all aching uh, and hurting. I know, but... Got to push forward though, don't we, and get this yes. last, uh, last bit done. So after we get all these pieces cleaned up, then we'll get the tractor turned around and uh, start stripping brick the other way. This is taking another load of broken brick to the dumpster. Well, everyone, we've been joined by Pawpaw, and as you can see, we have the truck in here. Chris, would you like to tell everyone why we have the truck in here? Well, unfortunately, one of the uh, hydraulic lines sprung a leak. Yes. And we can't use it like that for, uh, you know, there's a risk that it would just burst. On the tractor, right? The uh, tractor is hydrostatic drive, so it depends on hydraulic fluid to live. You don't want to burn it up, tear up Pawpaw's tractor. It gets real expensive, so... Uh, we parked the tractor, we'll get it fixed, and then uh, right now we're using the truck to get this All right, because we've got to have this out by tomorrow morning. <laughs> it'll, be much more fun. it'll be much more fun to get these burnt out. We call this teamwork, don't we, boys? Yeah. <laughs> oh. All right, we're going to take first load down. We got uh, how many feet, you think, huh? About 20, maybe 
20 feet? Maybe. Something like that? Nah. Yeah. I'll About 300 that. brick in the back of the truck. That's awesome. With the tractor, you know, we just went up and just dumped yeah. them out. So now we got to go up there and just actually throw them. Take them out four at a time and pile mm -hmm. them up. A little more energy, huh? Yep. Yeah. So have fun with that. Thanks. <laughs> in about 30 minutes. All right. I'm going to stay and pick up all these broken brick and get them into the dumpster. Should be fun. So this is the uh, second run we've made by truck today. It's been a lot of fun, hasn't it, Dad? Oh, it's great. <laughs> it's great. So uh, about, we uh, calculated uh, about 300 the first time. We stacked them a little differently this time, and we got uh, about 345. So uh, about 645 bricks so far via truck. So now we got them down here. Yeah, it was better with the tractor. You just bring them up and dump them, but now we actually got to Grab them with the brick tongs and uh, put them in the pile. We got a heck of a pile. All of this, right in there, and then all of this back this way is all from that patio, really from the hot tub and behind the house. And the rest of it is all from around the pool. We're estimating nine to 10,000 bricks based on how many we, how many trips we took, and how many we pulled out of there. A lot of bricks. So here we are, I'm up in the truck, and we are at the very end of the patio. How's it going, Chris? Okay. You ready to be done? Yep, we're about 650 bricks down. I don't know how many we've got in the uh, truck so far, but we're gonna have at least another half load, so probably yeah. another 150 or so. So that's uh, that makes about another 800 hard. for the day, and this time it was handled by hand. Yes, Loading no. in and out of the pickup truck. No so. tractor this time. Hard work. Been uh, fun, huh, Papa? Yeah, great. <laughs> like drinking poison. <laughs> Papa's happy. <laughs> Who can blame him? He's been a trooper. Yep, he's earned his pool pass. No doubt. He's supposed to be retired. <laughs> I say, I think, I think we might have to like take care of him. <laughs> That's why we're building the end wall, sweet. <laughs> Because this project is the end of I am not. We, we might need it for some other projects. <laughs> I am too. <laughs> All right, carry on. Thank you, thank you. You got the fun job, don't you, babe? Stacking? Uh, I think it's a little better than that. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I can hear my mom. Make sure I leave that in there for her. Yeah. She'll appreciate that. Oh. Home stretch, looking good. I mean, there's literally uh, about three feet left to the edge of the driveway. Here comes Reed. What's up, buddy? Can I do it? Almost done. Almost, but. All right, hon. So that's it. Gone. It's a little cleanup left. Another 250 or so in the back there. So we estimated uh, over the last 24 hours we've done. Quit yawning. What are you sleepy? <laughs> About 2,500 bricks. About 1,100 today. Yeah. And about 1,500 yesterday. Like 2,600. Yep. Fun, wasn't it? Yeah, delightful. We still got to take those down to the other end of the road. And yeah, we still got to unload this. Unload them. Sweet. Well, anyways, brick patty is gone. Hallelujah. Amber's going to work on getting all these parts and pieces in the dumpster. And uh, we're going to go unload. Well, that wraps up another episode of Woodmere State Revival. Today, we concentrated on getting up the last of the patio bricks from behind the house 
Yesterday we had the help of five high school boys and we just rocked and rolled all the way down that patio. Got about two thirds of it done, hauled it down with the tractor and dumped it. Uh, today we got started, it was just me, Amber and the boys and uh, we got started here and unfortunately the tractor sprung a leak in one of its hydraulic hoses. We had to park it. Next best thing was to uh, pull my truck over and start loading bricks in the back of the truck. So that's what we did. Uh, Paul Paul showed up, uh, Papa Stansberry, and uh, gave us a hand and we loaded up three loads of bricks, probably about a thousand bricks in the back of the truck and hauled those down to the under the property and then unloaded them by hand. So it was a much more laborious process and we are worn out. But the great news is, is that all of the bricks from behind the house are gone. All of the bricks around the patio are gone. And we are ready for the contractors to come in and start assessing the drainage situation, get the uh, foundation dug out, get it waterproofed, put the new foundation drains in, get the crawl space dried out and start repairing the structure inside the house so that we can take off and uh, take care of the rest of the renovations, the addition, everything else that we have planned for this place. So we're very excited to get some work done this week. We're very excited to have contractors on site this week and uh, can't wait to see the changes they make over the course of the next couple of weeks. Let me show you where we're finishing up here. You can see the end of the driveway. Right here's the uh, garage into the house. And uh, here you can see the end of the driveway where the concrete stops and where the bricks used to start. And as you can see, they are completely gone all the way down the length of the patio. So we've exposed the stone wall here and we've exposed the foundation side of the house all the way down through here. So a lot of this is going to get dug out, hauled off and dumped. It's full of clay. You can see this stuff is just rock hard. There are, uh, there's a layer of pea gravel here where this wall was laid. And then uh, underneath that, it's just clay. So all that water just sheeted right across and ran right up against the house. And there was a foundation drain, old uh, clay tile. But unfortunately, you know, they had pea gravel around the drain, but then on top of that, clay. So again, all that water was just pushing right against the house through the uh, waterproofing that they put on there, which you know, is not nearly as good as what we have today, and then into the crawl space. So water penetration has been a big problem for this house, and we are going to get it fixed. But you can see uh, we've exposed the bottom of this wall. We're going to dig it out as well and do a drain along it so that wherever these weeping holes are that come out, at the base of the wall, you know, water will come out there and will drain away as well. And as you can see, all the bricks around the pool are gone. A few little random bricks here and there that we'll have to take care of, but you know, for the most part, all this stuff is, is gone. So now we can get the pool contractor to come in, reconfigure the pool house, all the new equipment will go in there, new gas line and new electric, everything will be replaced in there and put all all up to date and then we're going to put uh, all new plumbing to the pool itself and put some new jets in and, and uh, replace the tile and the coping and get the whole thing repainted in epoxy paint. What a transformation. I mean if you if you forget how crazy this place used to look go back and look at videos one and two or some of the early photos that we have posted and you will see what a transformation has uh, has taken place here. This place was so overgrown. There were trees everywhere, trees hanging over the fence and onto the house, trees hanging over the pool. The pool looked like a swamp. Um, you know, the pool was full of sludge and, and all sorts of nastiness. So it's it's been an incredible transformation. We are tickled to death uh, to really have this place come into life. Um, we're getting into spring now. So we've got some warm weather now to work and to carry us through the rest of this project. So we are tickled to death to get uh, some of the reconstruction now moving full speed ahead. So again, contractors will be in starting tomorrow. They're going to get uh, all their uh, materials staged and get their plans made and get in here and get cracking. So we'll keep you posted as they get to work and show you some of the things that they're going to be taking care of for us down here at the property. Thanks again for tuning into this episode. and. We appreciate you tuning in every time. We love sharing this project. Please hit that subscription button so you don't miss a single episode. And be sure to hit the like button as well. 
Post any comments or questions you have in the section below, and be sure to share our channel with your friends and family. Thank you guys. Have a great evening.